Good afternoon. My thesis is Wise MD, a tool for doctors to enable cost conscious quality care decisions. But first, let me tell you how I got here. That's me. I grew up living at the top of a small hospital that my parents own in India. They are both doctors and they cater to the low income families of the neighborhood. As a child, I remember their compassion and struggles while treating their patients affordably and with quality. When I grew up, I got married and moved to the US. Here, both my brother and husband are doctors, and their experience in the US healthcare system has been contrasting to what I had seen my parents go through. While in India, patients could not get treatment because of sheer lack of resources, here, sometimes the excess of tests and treatment harms patients. This contrast intrigued me. And it wasn't just limited to my personal experience. US spends four times the amount of GDP in healthcare compared to India, even though India has four times the population of US. We in US have the highest per capita spending in healthcare in the world. The second highest is Norway, and it's nowhere even close. And this made me wonder, are we spending wisely? It's not about the cost, but the waste. One third of spending in healthcare is unnecessary, and the majority of this is controlled by doctors. Further, this excess spending is more harmful than helpful. 37,000 people die in the US every year because of excess treatment. This statistic is surprising, but true. So my objective was to create a tool for resident physicians to help them minimize ordering of unnecessary tests. Residents are critical because they're in a state of transition and starting to develop habits. And unnecessary tests are one of the biggest contributors of waste. One test can lead to many potentially harmful treatment. In order to understand the problem in depth, I immersed myself in their environment and culture. This helped me understand the challenges they face on an everyday basis. To diagnose a clinical problem, they go through a set process. When a patient comes to the hospital, the resident takes history, examines the patient, thinks about the plan, and presents it to the attending. Finally, the team implements the plan. They go through a series of emotions through this process, from apathy to uncertainty. These emotions further affect the decisions that they take. For example, being in a rush leads to risk-averse decisions. Feeling uncertain leads to sticking to the default option. And throughout all this, they have no information about cost. So I learned that unconscious emotions affect ordering decisions. Specifically, discomfort with uncertainty leads to ordering of tests just to be safe. Stress and time pressures in a hospital environment also make residents take the faster and more convenient route, which is sometimes to order more tests than required. Also, there is a disconnect between actions and consequences, and because there is no transparency, there is indifference towards costs. So my initial hypothesis was that there are three reasons why overtesting happens. Unconscious drivers, which is discomfort with uncertainty. Conscious rationale, which is the lack of feedback and transparency. And the environment in which decisions are taken. A lot of time pressure. So what if we flipped these factors into conditions that would favor cost-conscious care? By providing assurance, creating ownership and accountability, and encouraging reflection. Through a co-design workshop with residents, we explored how and when costs can be incorporated in their hospital routine. We came up with a lot of interesting concepts and role-played them for different situations. For example, this wheel is a conversational tool between doctors and patients to talk about costs. However, my biggest takeaway from this workshop was pivotal, and it was that only incorporating costs in their routine will not change behavior. And that's because they lack the motivation to do it, to have an additional responsibility. It can, in fact, just lead to more time stress. So how can residents feel motivated to take ownership of costs? 
To answer this question, I broke down their behavior into three patterns that I saw. First, an attitude or a tendency to follow in the footsteps of other residents. Second, a competitive spirit and value for recognition. And third, trusting objective data more than anything else. It was fascinating how their behavior and my design goals connected with each other. Learning about others can lead to assurance, transparency can create accountability, and ambition for self-improvement can motivate them to reflect more. So after much iteration and feedback from users, I present to you WiseMD, a feedback tool for doctors to make cost-conscious decisions while aiming to improve care. It is a Fitbit-like app for physicians to give them for the first time real-time, automatic, and physician-specific data. It gives them information about time efficiency, cost effectiveness, and quality measures. Users can learn about their clinical performance, compare it with their peers, and finally tailor their behavior to perform better. A resident orders tests on the electronic medical record system. Data about time, cost, and quality is pulled from the system it is calculated and analyzed, and finally visualized and sent back to the resident for feedback. Let's go through an example of this. The first screen is the dashboard and shows data about time, cost, and quality through different data points. Each of these data points can be further explored as shown here. Um, the screen shows details of the time spent. The second section shows specific and personalized insights. For example, 67% of the total cost of tests was spent on imaging, even though they only contributed to 15% of total tests. These can also be seen in more details. And the third section shows the comparison where you can compare yourself with your peers. The intention really is to close the feedback loop that was broken so that now residents can learn from the decisions they have taken and apply that learning to future decisions. And the idea is not to monitor them, but to trust them to make the best decisions by learning. To test it out, I conducted a two week long pilot in an outpatient setting in New Jersey. The first week I measured data then gave them personalized feedback, then measured data again in the second week, and finally compared the two weeks. The impact was huge. The cost of tests per patient reduced by 21% on average, the number of tests de decreased by 22% on average, and the number of patients increased by 50%, while the quality of care remained the same. This means that if this is scaled up across US, and even if 1% of excess is eliminated, it can save us $62 million a year and 3,700 patient lives. And it's not just the numbers. What I heard from doctors later was that they saw value in it because it helped them know where they're lacking and improve accordingly. They also saw value because it is, it is in sync with the new healthcare legislations where bonuses are based on high value cost effective care. And all 10 residents wanted to continue with the system if given a choice. The biggest change I really saw in them was that their attitude of indifference had cho changed to an attitude of ownership and responsibility. But this is only a start. I could only affect 10 residents with this pilot, and there are 25,000 residents in the US. What if we scale it up to every doctor in the US? What if every physician feels this sense of responsibility? It can be the beginning of a culture of ownership, where patients can trust their doctors to make wise decisions, just like the place I grew up in. Thank you.